You're back on my channel, NYSB Gamal, and I'm back at you with another video. So this time around, it's been a couple since I was able to do this, but I did pick up a couple sneakers over the past couple weeks. I just haven't had a chance to do them. So first video, or first sneaker, I should say, is a sneaker I was super excited to get my hands on. See the House of Hoops Foot Locker. Um, my brother is the first person I've seen with these sneakers, and I think he has five or six different colorways now. I finally was able to get my hands on one. Not the one that I exactly wanted. I wanted the specific one, but um, that one is sold out. I did have to pay full price for this. This is not a deal. This was just one of those things that I just wanted to get. So you can see the box, Air Max 270. I don't know how I feel about the box. I'm not really big on boxes. I don't really like the white box or whatever, but these are so clean and it really came down, not gonna lie, this really came down to the sneaker or the LeBron 15s. I think they're Oreo type of colors. And um, I was in the store because I do buy bronze a yearly, but I um, said uh, I'll probably get the bronze for my birthday. But these bad boys right here. As you can see, they got the Air 270, Air on the back, nice air bubble, 270 on the side, the nice mesh. This is not the Flyknit one, this is the 151. I did go true to size, 11 and a half. Right here on the front, you see it says the Air 270, but this is, this is just a dope shoe, man. This is, I wanted the cactus, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted it with the, the teal. Um, bubble. Everything else is almost the same, just a teal bubble. Um, but hey, wasn't able to get it. I was sleeping on the shoe at first. I didn't think that they would sell out. That was the thing. So I saw the cactus, but I didn't think it was going to sell out like it did. But um, yeah, I decided, you know, people, you know, normally hating on bronze. I figured I'd be able to get the bronze later. And so um, there's still some of the bronze from the high tops are still available at certain foot lockers, finish lines and things. So I figure, hey, you know, my birthday's next month. We're in June now, my birthday's in July. I'll, I'll be able to get one then, but I didn't want to pass up getting this and this not be here, especially because summer's around the corner. And even though it's not all white, it's a mostly white shoe. It's gonna look so clean, so crisp um, this upcoming summer. So I'm really geeked about that. See the album right here, but yeah, this, this this bad boy right here is smooth, man. I, I like this. I like this. I think this is a, a good sneaker. It's a good presentation. Everything about this I like. Um, really, really, really geeked. And when you put these on, man, I'm telling you, it feels like you're walking on air or something. I'm not, it sounds corny to say stuff like that, but real talk, this one is... Uh, Super comfy. It's, it's super, super, super duper comfy. And so I was just happy to be able to get my hands on it because I was geeked to get it. I really wanted it. And now that I have them, I'm like, yes. So I'm ready um, to go ahead and throw that on. You see on the box, the Air Max 270. But yeah. So I picked up the Air Max 270 because that's what it is. And then, you know, I'll do it on feed about that and things of that nature. So. Um, be on the lookout for that. Uh, probably break these videos up, you know, for each one. But the second pickup I was able to do, so I went and got the Air Max 270s on like a Friday, I want to say. And then um, the next day I went to Marshalls on the Humble because I didn't really plan on going to Marshalls. So I went to Marshalls on the Humble. And um, while I was in there, I always say, you know, let me just look and see. Normally, Marshall doesn't have stuff, at least not in my size. I'll see, like, Griffey's, which I always want. You know, I wanted Griffey's back in the day, but in high school, my father said they were too expensive, so he wouldn't buy them. So I, ne I never had a pair of Griffey's. My brother has a pair, though, but his Griffey's are popping. But they don't. They, they never have these type of things in my size. So I was in there, and I saw, I was just about to walk out, and I saw a sneaker that I had been wanting. Now, I'm not going to lie. This is not the colorway that I wanted. I really wanted it in red. I am here for the red, just not red nails, but I am here for the red. And, uh, but I didn't have, they didn't have the red, they had the blue and beggars can be choosers. It was the display. As you'll see, the box actually says display on it, but it was the only one. Now I normally, if I do Jordans, I normally typically just do the, the, uh, 
the, the top 13, 14 of them, and then that's about it. I have a couple ones, twos, fours, fives, nines, elevens, twelves. Yeah, so those are the ones I have. Um, and all those nines are my favorites. I think nines are amazing. I know people love their elevens or different ones. I think I think nines are amazing. They're super comfortable. But this right here is the 31s, which I absolutely have been wanting a pair of 31s. I love this. I really wanted this again. The all red ones was what I really wanted. The all gray ones would have been my second choice, but I'm not disappointed. And for the price that I paid, and I paid $150 when I got the Air Max 270s. These right here, if you know, ticket price for what this normally goes for is $185. And this was a display again that I said, I was able to get this in Marshalls for $60. When I saw that, that is a third of the price. I got it for $60, there was absolutely no way I was not getting the sneaker. Like, there was absolutely no way I was not getting the sneaker. And so, luckily my wife sat in the car and was sleeping with the kids in the car sleeping. When I got in the car, she literally opened her eyes, looked down, saw the shoe box, because she knew I had bought the Air Max 270s the day before. She just looked and said, oh, someone must have money. And then turned around and went right back to sleep. And so uh, she didn't give me as much fuss and uh, fight as I thought she would have. But uh, this is the box. It is a little broken. I might actually keep the box. I kind of dig the red and black. Um, the Jordan on the back. I mean, I'm not gas on things like that. I do like the, the um, Roman numeral 31. But uh, I think it's, it's just a dope shoe, man. And I was just so happy. So on the bottom, it actually has display on it. And you can see the, uh, the Jumpman symbol on the sides. The detail, I've never really, I didn't know. They had like the same Air Jordan. So the same Air Jordan right here that you see on the sides are the same things that you'll typically find on your, your Retro 1s. Um, it actually kind of feels like the Retro 1 too, comfort level wise. It's actually a pretty comfortable shoe. It's actually more snug than I thought. Like the inside of these have these, um, I mean you can't see it here, but it has like these blue cushiony things on the inside I was not expecting. I haven't had any other Jordans that really have had that cushioning going all the way down around the ankle support of this particular shoe, but um, the inside has the jump man, but I was, I was so geeked to get these and to be able to get these for 60. I actually thought, um, I'm not really big on, on all the different Jordans, but I do believe that this is, this was still worthy of a, a 160, 180. You know, if I had to pay it, I would have. But to be able to get it for $60, there was absolutely no way I was turning this down. I was going to pass this up. But dope shoe right here. Definitely, definitely happy to have these in the collection. I will throw these on at some point. Um, but you'll see the on foot for these in a second as well. And then I was able to have one more pickup I was able to make out of Nordstrom Rack. This again is another steal. So again, the, the 270s that I got that you'll see the video for, that was not a steal, but these ones, and I wore these already once, so I no longer have the bag it came in. You see, I got my handy bag from Ikea. Um, these are my to-go bags. You just actually pick these up. So anytime when I'm going to travel, whatever sneakers or shoes, boots I want to carry with me, I actually just put them in here, switch out the ones that I normally keep in, and put them in there if they're in a the shoe box or something. So these right here, I got out of Nordstrom Rack. You know I'm from New York. Your boy is super heavy, still on Tim's. These are burgundy Tim's, the field boots. Good to go, super comfy. I got these in Tim's. Um, now again, I'm 11 and a half normally and everything. Tim's are just so big and so wide that I can't even wear an 11 in Tim's. I have to go down even further. So these are a 10 and a half. Um, I have the, the old school, the black ones. They're dirty and dusty. I use those to, to uh, shovel snow and, and cut grass in. But, but these right here, you know, I still kept a little tag on it. Old school, baby, old school. But these are burgundy right here. I actually paid $60, 64 for these. So if you go on NordstromRack.com, they actually have these and had them in a full size run, to be honest with you, too. On the low, I think people weren't aware, but 
we have a Nordstrom rack um, not far from where I live. And so I actually was in the store, saw them, and, and bought them out the store. So it didn't come with a, with a box when I bought them. It literally just came in a Nordstrom bag. The girl, had they, they had it in a box. The girl was like, do you even want to keep this box? It was like some weird name. It was like a Tommy Hilfiger or something. Shoe box. And I was like, nah, I don't need the box. I knew I was going to just throw them in my handy dandies right over there. So you guys know what Tim's look like, man. You guys, you, you know what it is. You know what you're getting. The quality is amazing. Inside has the Timbaland. Nice and clean at the bottom. Timbaland sign and all that. But Burgundy Tim's, man. I really want I want the construct version um, of the of the Burgundy Tim's. And the only people I've ever seen with it are Jimmy Jazz, but um, it seems that ten and a half sells out pretty quickly and they always have like bigger sizes and I did that already for another shoe that Jimmy Jazz had. I just had to have the dark gray Construct type Tims and um, I can barely wear them. I feel like I gotta wear like two socks because the size is an 11 and I'm just kicking myself that I wish I had just wait and try to get the 10 and a half for it. But it is what it is. I'm not giving them up because that color is crazy and every time people see them they're always like, yo, where you get those from? So, you know, I like them. But these are my burgundy Tims right here. I'm so geek for these. I, like I said, I did wear these out. Um, my wife and I had a, a getaway um, a couple weeks ago. We were able to get away. And I had a shirt from Macy's that I got. You know, your boy loves Macy's. So I got a shirt from Macy's American Rag, I believe it was. And I was able to pick that up. So I threw these on with it and they were the perfect complement. Oh, and you see how easily this falls right back in there. Just like that. Put them in sideways. Oof in there so i'll give you guys a quick try on let you see what's going on but these are the deals it's been a little bit so i just wanted to showcase some of the deals some of the shoes some of the steals i was able to pick up with shoe wise but as always man on purpose have a wonderful blessed productive stress-free day till next time Sitting on the couch in the house, feeling like everybody else living their dream. Why you sitting in the house, living scared? Seems like fear of failure got you there. To step out, cause you so scared of hair. So you sit there staring at the TV, criticizing, saying, Yeah, that should be me. Uh -huh. You see the athlete, yeah, that should be me. Uh -huh. You see the rap star, yeah, that should be me. Uh -huh. I hope you so sick it forces you to grind mo turn off the tv you ain't got no time folks make up in your mind that you want what they grind shows